What's going on guys, Lomax here, and welcome back to another episode of our Roland playthrough. In the last episode, we looted the armory and finished off playthrough 1, and are now starting playthrough 2. Does this thing do any damage? Oh yeah. Oh no, these guys are level 32, oh my god. Uh, okay, we're gonna... This is now a speedrun? I can't believe these guys are level 32. I figured I would have been a little overleveled, but I didn't think I'd be this overleveled. Oh yeah, we're, we're, ju we're just running through everything. I mean, I mean, I have to kill a lot of this stuff probably to get Claptrap to move with me, but we're, yeah. I don't know how far we can get being at 40, but I'm sure we can get pretty far. The poor little robot needs our help. Would you kindly give him a hand? I guess. I don't have a choice, do I? We gotta do all these SDUs too, that's gonna be fun. That's a lot of read-only farming. The only kind of annoying one, I think, of the ones we haven't done is probably the one in Earl's Scrapyard, because it's the farthest away, but every other Claptrap SDU should be pretty easy to get. I'm trying to think, we, we have to do the Ned DLC and the Claptrap DLC again for SDUs, but I'm not sure the best time to do those. And we'll have to do them under Gnome SDU at some point, both of them. There's two skill point SDUs. That might be one of the last things we do. I'm thinking we do the playthrough and the two DLCs, not, not the Underdome, but the other two. And then once we beat this, we'll go to the Nox DLC, we'll gear up, probably do some armory, and then Underdome, and then Chromorax. Uh, Shock Skag. Sorry, Bad Mother, Shock Alpha. This is great, any gun I have right now is going to work because they're all stupidly overleveled. I think probably by the time we're done with Skag Gully, things will be on our level again. These things are at 37. Skag Gully will probably be 38, 39, I would imagine. So everything else should be on the other side of the Pisswash Gully. Should be around 40. All right, so we got another point. We're going to just throw it into deploy. We got to go back to old Skag Gully and kill nine toes. Shouldn't be too bad. I can't imagine it's going to be that bad. Okay, I was thinking these guys are going to be a higher level, but it appears not. So I really have no idea how long we're going to be overpowered for. 36. That's it. That's all you got? See ya. He was dead before his skags even came out. I would think that at level 41, we could probably get all the way through Firestone. Or the Arid Badlands. Now we gotta go talk to TK, and then we gotta go talk to Zed, and then we gotta go talk to Scooter, and then uh, it's just back and forth between like three characters. Not even two characters, but really between two characters. TK and Zed. Bonehead should be pretty easy, I imagine. It must have been weird not having any DLCs to do for, you know, the first, I'd say, month or so this game was out. Because there's no way you could get overleveled. Even with the Zed DLC, I don't think you could get that overleveled. But I'm sure not everyone had the DLCs either. Oh, has 38? Okay, that's what's better. Ah. No hybrid. I'm not sure what the odds of getting the hybrid are, but they can't be that good. I've had it once, but it took it took a while. Actually, it didn't take that long. I think it took me a half hour of farming to get this hybrid. But that was back in the original, not the remaster. Can I go to the Lost Cave yet? I want to get this SDU right now. Just to get it out of the way. So we have to find Claptrap, and then pick up the repair kit, and then save and quit. I'll switch it to read only, and then we'll farm. All right, here's the Claptrap, and here's the repair kit. All right, now I'm going to save and quit and do some read only farming. All right, third try. Not too bad. It's not super far in. We need another 18. We need six more. There's six more SDUs. Two of them are guaranteed. And those are both in the DLCs. All right, now we can proceed. So the next SDU is going to be in Sledge's safe house. And then after that, I think we don't get one for a while. I think New Haven's the next one. New Haven, Tetanus, Warrens, and then Crazy Girl Scrapyard. So this is going to be the same scenario when we do this mission. When we get to the safe house, it's going to be another SU farm. Pretty... I don't really want to go past it until we get it. I just wish Roland had movement speed. Like, any form of movement speed. He's very strong, but just slow. 
What level are these guys? 38? Okay, we're getting closer. I feel by the time we get to Sledge, we'll actually be fighting all level enemies. Actually, maybe not. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. I guess we'll see when we get there. Yeah, everyone, just go into this doorway. Nothing bad will happen. All right, here's the clamp trap. STU, or repair kit. I keep calling them STUs. They're actually repair kits. All right, read only time. Eight. I want to say that was eight. It just feels good getting this out of the way. Like, as soon as we get the last one, we won't have to worry about it. Further and further into the abyss. There's a chest over here. There's a lot of chests in this place. It feels like there's more chests in Borderlands 1 than there is in Borderlands 2. There was one there, and there's one right here. They're just kind of hidden. I cannot wait to use this gun with Metal Storm. It's got a faster fire rate than my assault rifle does. 13.8 this thing is. No, no lesson. I'm stronger than everything here. What kind of lesson do you think you could teach me? Yeah, it'd be so nice to get movement speed on kill or something. Or any movement speed at all. <laughs> I hate not having any. Everything you've faced up until now has been simple. You're about uh -huh. to face a real challenge. That's an understatement. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to the stinger. I'm running out of ammo. I need to get some more SDUs. I just burned through it. As soon as Metal Storm procs, my ammo's just gone. Magically, I don't know how it happens. Is there only one guy here? Did I use this thing for one guy? I use this. I use my turret for one guy. Oh, no, there's two. Good turret. The cooldown's pretty quick on it, though. Oh my god, my aim. What aim? Oh, that, did that go down? Yeah, it did. Crap. That's not good. That was not part of the plan. I'm not a big fan of the shotgun without Metal Storm, but as soon as it procs, I mean... I don't know, I think Metal Storm makes any gun good. Don't go into the wall. Alright. Definitely starting to go down a lot more. I think I'm dead. Oh, that sucks. That was so close. It's because I stopped using assault rifles. I'm, I just don't have enough ammo. Oh, I have more ammo now. As soon as I kill something, he's pretty much dead. Thanks for playing, Sledge. Thanks for playing, buddy. What do we have here? Another artifact. Oh. So we can throw another point into deploy. Man, we already got two levels. You level up so quickly in this game. At least it feels like it compared to Borderlands 2 and pre-sequel. Like, I'm not farming for anything. I'm not farming for XP, I'm just playing the game and I already got two levels. Back to Zed. I wonder how many times we actually talked to him. It's probably like 10, 10 different missions or something. I think now that we're going to be in the Doll Headlands, things will be at our level. This should be a little tougher, but we'll see how it goes. The only thing I'm really worried about right now is Mad Mel, because I can't remember how he scales in the second playthrough. But I feel like cars are going to be easier to blow up, so it might not be that bad. Yeah, things are on our level here, so that's good. At least we get a challenge. Are we doing 12? There's a guy up here. Yeah, there's no guy up there anymore. And here's Lucky just sitting on the toilet. Dub. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. 12.5 fire rate. It's Tidior, but I mean... Anarchies are just so good. I was, I was like, so happy I found the Stinger, and then bam. Double Anarchy. Okay. The 12.5 fire rate. The Anarchy is just too strong. In my opinion, like it's it's so good. It's it's it should be just not allowed. It's too good. The accuracy is pretty terrible, but I mean, I don't know. It's got it's got a shotgun spread with a 12.5 fire rate. We're pretty much set for guns for the rest of the playthrough, I would imagine. At least for, like you know, on the way to 50 anyway. Past 50? No, definitely not. I wish to blow up some vehicles. Give me something to blow up. There we go. Oh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. My car's gone, too. I mean, I'll stand my ground. 
got to be very careful so I don't get run over. But if they all come to me, this will be easy. My worry is that I'm going to get double teamed or something, and I'm going to be focused on one, and the other one's going to come and, oh, God, run me over. One more. I see it. I'm running out of ammo on everything, though. Did it? What? Oh, come on, man. See, that's what I mean. I didn't even hear it. I didn't even hear that car. I didn't see it. I didn't hear it. I just died. I'm not even convinced I got hit by a car. I might have just, like, died to nothing there. We're so close. We had seven of eight. All right, well, let's go kill Mad Mel. Pretty much gonna take the same approach we just did. We're just gonna shoot him from outside a vehicle. Twelve thousand XP. We've got two more SDUs coming up. Two more quick ones. Yep, New Haven SDU and then Tetanus Warrens, which we're gonna do both right now. You know what? I think we'll do Tetanus Warrens first, just cause. Just get it. That one's more annoying. Can I drive through here? No, of course not. That little, uh, there's a little barrier right here. I can't drive over this. Nothing like a little tetanus. Clop trap, I see you on the minimap. Oh, I can't get it. I can't get it. Oh, no. Alright, hang on. That's what. So, I know you can grab it. I, I, there we go. That's all I need. All right, another read only farm. Coming up. Something's going on, and every time I try to save and quit, it keeps putting me back in the doll headland. So we're just going to go ahead, and we're going to do all the stuff in New Haven. And maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what's happening. I don't have it on read only right now. And every time I save and quit, I end up in the Doll Headlands. I can't respawn in the Tetanus Warrens, so we'll turn that repair kit in after we do the New Haven stuff. And we'll do the New Haven repair kit while we're at it. It's weird, I got the New Haven fast travel, and I can't fast travel there. Like, I, 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 maybe it's just, like, area gated or something. Like, I have to do this mission before I can get any of those fast travels. I don't know why it's not working, but... It's not a big deal. We'll turn this in and we'll do this clap drop. Also, we leveled up, so another point into deploy. We'll turn on the power, we'll do the New Haven SU, then we'll go back and do the Tennis Warren SU. Hey, clap trap. Oh my god, I'm leaking! We'll grab this, we'll turn the quest in. I think we turned it into Helena. That sounds right. And then we'll do the farm. Four tries. Not too bad. Now we're going to go back Are to the Tetanus Warrens. We're going to do that one. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. Hey, there we go. That's the eighth try. I am so happy that Lockdown Palace did not take eight times. And there's only one more read only one. It's probably the most annoying one outside of the Lockdown Palace to read only because it's just so far away. Will bandits follow you into New Haven? Yeah, they will. Come with me, buddy. Come on. Like there's no imaginary boundary. <laughs> it's a party. So it's kind of annoying. I ha I can actually fast travel to Tannis right now, but I have to come talk to this clap trap first. So he'll activate the gate. I'm gonna go back to the fast travel. I think I can actually get to a lot of places right now. I think I can even get to Crom's Canyon right now. They're like flying lizards. Greetings. Yeah, so we can travel to Crazy Earl as well. Save us a lot of time. Yep, can you not attack me? I'm not doing anything. I'm just grabbing the chest. That's all I'm doing. So I think we'll do one... You know, we might as well get all the STs in this episode. Why not? So, I think things are finally around our level. I mean, they've kind of been our level since 
after Sledge, but now it's like everything is another level. 42. This thing's at 42. Also, I need a better gun because that works. What you want? To help, I guess. I need this SDU though. Only one more read, only SCU to form. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised we were able to do all these in one episode. But at the same time, I guess I'm not. The main story is not really that long, so it doesn't really take a long time to get to all these. Talk to Clappy. Hello? Oh, there we go. Grab this, if we can get up there. And we'll do a little read only farm. Two? Run two? Nice! Super quick. Is this guy still still here? Yeah, there was a guy. There's a badass bandit. Sniping me. He almost took me down, actually. Yeah, <laughs> okay, we're gonna run. That's a lot of damage. I'm gonna die. I'm going down swinging. Good luck sniping me when I'm in your face. Cool, so all the base game STUs are done. For some reason, and I, know, I have no idea why, but you can only get the first five STUs in playthrough two, and it's a random chance. I don't know why they didn't make it all of them, and I have no idea why it's a random chance. So we gotta get some alcohol. Some booze for Crazy Earl, because I guess that's what he's kind of surviving on. I didn't really follow the story. Yeah, lucky for us, everyone has booze here. Everyone carries a gun on them, and everyone carries a bottle of booze. Oh, that turret's going down. There's no way it's not. I don't know. I do that a lot. I, I'll throw the turret down with no health and kind of just shoot myself in the foot, but worked out here. There's probably a lot of booze around here that I didn't pick up. One here. Five more? Really? I think I might be dead because my timer is... Oh no, reset. I went down quite a few times here. Right, there's 24 bottles. Back to Earl. What you want? Here's a booze man. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, I think we'll take a look at what levels the Ned and Claptrap DLC scale to and decide whether or not to hop into one of them. Thanks for watching, guys.